Ladies and gents, it's that time again. It's your top five stories you might have missed, so don't miss them. Number five, even though October is the spookiest month of the year, November is the month when we'll all be battling undead demons on Nintendo Switch. Both Nintendo and Bethesda took to their Twitter accounts to announce the Switch port of Doom is coming November 10th. Along with the announcement came a developer interview with id Software, where they talk about working with developer Panic Button to cram all that evil into such a tiny little cartridge. Number four, Sony just announced a special limited edition Star Wars Battlefront 2 PS4 Pro bundle, and wow, it's really awesome. This is no ordinary PS4 Pro, this one has custom Battlefront 2 graphics on it, including the Inferno Squad logo. The bundle's controller also has Star Wars graphics on it, and it includes a physical copy of Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you'd rather not go pro, Sony announced a PS4 Slim Battlefront 2 bundle, but it doesn't have those awesome Star Wars graphics on it. Number three, Ubisoft gave us more info on the upcoming Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle DLC. The Ultra Challenge Pack promises to add eight ridiculously hard new challenges to each world secret chapter, along with a new co-op campaign with five exclusive new maps. You can download it right now on Nintendo Switch for $6.99 or if you already bought the season pass. You're probably going to want to get a little practice in before you take this DLC on. Just saying. Number two, Xbox One players, you might have noticed an update pop up on your console this week. Microsoft's fall update went live this week and brought a bunch of goodies, like a completely customizable home screen where you can add up to 40 pins, like a friend, a game, and so on. The guide layout has also been updated, making it smoother to jump between tabs and switch between apps. It's all the fine tuning you can hope for. So check out the full details at the link below. And number one, loot boxes are being investigated. Well, sort of. An online petition of over 10 thousand signatures is now awaiting a response from the UK government. The petition is calling for a change in UK gambling laws to include gambling in video games which specifically target children and vulnerable adults, in particular through loot boxes. Now with the required signatures, the petition is expected to receive a response. Do you think loot boxes should be considered gambling? Let us know in the comments below. And those are the stories you may have missed this week. Be sure to watch our top five stories airing tomorrow and check out our Thor Ragnarok review to see if a god and a really grumpy green dude beat the stuffing out of some bad guys. Bye for now, guys.